Hello, I'm Trostin. I'm an engineer on the Sourcecraft Batch Changes team, and I want to give you a quick overview of how I use batch changes to make a large scale code change across multiple repositories and multiple code hosts. It always starts with a search query. In this case, I was looking for Docker files in which the base image is using the latest tag but is not pinned to a specific version. In order to have a batch change fix this for me, I need to write a batch spec. A batch spec is a YAML file in which I describe what the batch change should look like. There are three major parts to it. The first part here describes how to find the code that we want to change. We can use any source graph search query that we want, and then we define how to change the code. Here, I use a Docker container using Docker lint to iterate over the search results and fix them. You can put in any container that you want here. And then the last part is that we describe what the change set should look like on the code host. Change set is a generic term for pull request or merge request. We define the title, body, commit message, and whether it should be published or not. Once we're happy with the batch spec, we use the source batch preview command to execute this batch spec, which will download thin archives from the Sourcecraft instance, execute the steps in each repository that it found, and upload the changes to the Sourcecraft instance. So here, you can see that it calculates the diff and it produces changes. If no changes were found, nothing will be uploaded. Once it's done, we can click on this link to preview the changes. And here we can see that it found 10 change sets in 10 different repositories, some of which will be published. And we can preview the diff of these change sets and we can confirm that it looks good. Um, and once we're happy with all of the changes, we click on the apply spec button, which will create a batch change. And then you will see that in the background, these change sets are now processing and the four that we tagged as to be published are being published on the code host. Now, you can use batch changes to create changes like this over hundreds or even thousands of repositories on multiple code hosts if you dare.